Previously, when we talked about pyrimidine synthesis, we learned that the first nitrogenous base that is synthesized is uracil. So once uracil is generated through the de novo pathway that we discussed in the previous video, we can utilize that uracil-containing uh, nucleotide to generate nucleotides that contain cytosine and thiamine. Here, we're going to focus on how we generate CTP and DCTP, so that's simply cytosine triphosphate, which is going to be used in the RNA, and then deoxyribose cytosine triphosphate, which is going to be used in DNA. So we're not going to go over this again because it's already done in the pyrimidine synthesis de novo uracil video, but remember that we go over this entire pathway, and at the end of the pathway, we end up with UTP. Here, we're going to utilize this UTP molecule to generate CTP. So just a quick overview of the de novo pathway, we use PRPP and amino acids such as glutamine and aspartate. We use CO2, which acts as our bicarbonate when it combines with water, and we use ATP to create a nucleotide. In this case, we created this UTP. Now here, we're going to use the UTP to generate CTP. And this is actually a very simple reaction um, compared to when we were talking about generating UTP. It was a multi-step synthesis, but here this is only a one-step synthesis for UTP to CTP. So we can see uh, that first we can compare the differences between UTP and CTP. We know the triphosphate part is going to be the same because we simply have a sugar in both. And then we also have triphosphates over here. So the difference is in our nitrogenous base. Here we have a uracil, here we want to get to a cytosine. What's the difference between a uracil and a cytosine? Well, a uracil has this double bonded oxygen on the carbon over here, whereas in cytosine, we do not have that double bonded oxygen. Instead, we have a nitrogen. So we need a method to incorporate nitrogen into this UTP and get rid of this oxygen. So what are we going to do? Essentially, we are going to use the substrates glutamine, ATP, and H2O. And through a mechanism reaction, we're actually going to see that glutamine, it's can, glutamine contains an amino group. When glutamine donates its amino group, it is uh, converted into glutamate because the only difference between glutamine and glutamate is that glutamine has that extra nitrogen and glutamate does not. So glutamine is going to donate uh, its nitrogen uh, and that nitrogen donated from glutamine is this nitrogen over here. This reaction is catalyzed by CTP synthase and as a result we get the products glutamate, which is basically the conversion of glutamine to glutamate. We're utilizing ATP. Uh, essentially what's going to happen is that we're using the terminal phosphate on ATP and we're going to add it to this oxygen. This is going to create a more reactive center and the phosphate, once it binds here, it's going to act as a good leaving group for the amino group to then come in. So then we're going to be left with ADP and that inorganic phosphate is also going to be lost because we're, the phosphate will bind, but then we're going to we're going to replace it with that NH2 group. And then we're left with CTP, cytosine triphosphate. This cytosine triphosphate can be used in building RNA. But when we talk about CTP and DNA, remember that it has to be DCTP. It has to be deoxyribose. So this sugar over here and this sugar over here is a ribose because we have this hydroxyl group on both C2, uh, on both these C2s. Whenever we have a hydroxyl group on the C2, it is a ribose. But in a deoxyribose, we will have a hydrogen on the C2 instead of that hydroxyl group. So we have to get rid of this hydroxyl in order to get a deoxyribose sugar and then we'll end up with DCTP, and DCTP can be used in uh, DNA. 
So what are we going to do? We're going to utilize an enzyme called ribonucleoside reductase. Ribonucleotide nucleoside reductase. So essentially, we're going to do an oxidative reduction reaction where we are going to lose this hydroxyl group right over here. And we're going to be left with a hydrogen, just like I mentioned. So we go from CTP to DCTP. CTP can be used in RNA and DCTP will be used in DNA. And this is the de novo pathway of generating CTP and DCTP. Because remember, in the de novo pathway, we utilize specifically, we utilize PRPP, amino acid, CO2, ATP, to create a nucleotide and we create utp and from utp we can create ctp and dctp this is the de novo pathway for creating ctp and dctp